Hey everyone, FSU Bones here from the Inglorious Bastards gaming community, and today over some Rainbow Six Siege gameplay, I want to talk about a book that I recently read, which is The Last Punisher by Kevin Laz. For those of you who don't know who Kevin Laz is, he is a former U.S. Navy SEAL who served with the American sniper Chris Kyle in the Battle of Ramadi, and that's basically what his book is all about. Now, I'm not a big fan of reading. Uh, I went to college for many, many years, and during that time, I spent a ton of time reading uh, books and research articles for what I do now. And currently, you know, I still have to do a lot of reading to keep up with current research trends and things like that. So reading really isn't one of my favorite pastimes, but... I did read the American Sniper book after watching the movie, and I found it to be a fascinating read. I thought it was very well written. And so when I saw that this book came out uh, about a month ago, I was really excited to get it. So I went ahead and picked it up on Amazon, and I got a hardback copy. And, uh, you know, it's just as good, if not even better, than American Sniper by Chris Kyle. The thing I really loved about this book is it really does bring out a ton of different emotions in you as you read it. Uh, there are parts that are very funny and will make you chuckle. There are parts that will kind of put you in amazement over the things that he saw and did. Um, there are parts that are very uplifting and, and uh, you know, motivational. And there are parts that uh, are also very sad and, you know, you feel some... Uh, real sorrow for the things that he had to go through um, in his time in Ramadi. Um, but a real fascinating read. I, I think you'll find it very difficult to put this book down. Um, it's only about 250, 260 pages maybe. Um, so you can finish it off pretty quickly. But, uh, you know, I found myself kind of taking breaks from it, just pacing myself because I didn't want to blow through it in, in an entire week. I wanted to kind of save some time and just kind of, you know, reflect on, on what I had read and kind of space it out over uh, the course of a month. So what is this book about? It's about Kevin Laz's experiences in Iraq during the Battle of Ramadi, one of the bloodiest battles um, during the Iraq War. Um, and it kind of gives, you know, his perspective on what he did as a U.S. Navy SEAL, the different operations that they ran, um, kind of gives you more insight on what Navy SEALs typically do on a uh, daily basis um, in Iraq and, you know, all throughout the world. So, you know, if you're interested in learning more about what they do, it's definitely worth the read. Um, you know, some of the things that they saw over there, like I said before, it's, it's kind of funny. Uh, you know, one point they're, they're, uh, infiltrating a building and they get to the top and they find a bunch of goats on the roof. Um, you know, I found that story to be kind of humorous, but it also tells you, you know, kind of the, the, the dangers that they faced and how difficult it was, you know, at times, uh, to, to be over there. You know, there were times where they knew enemies were calling in their location, but because they didn't have guns, they couldn't really do anything about it. They had to stand down and just kind of, you know, go with it and wait till they saw someone with a gun or wait till they were shot at before they could engage. And, you know, that's, you know, something that the enemy definitely didn't have to follow. They didn't have to follow, you know, the, the Geneva convention as our soldiers did. So, uh, you know, it's just interesting to kind of see the, the different dynamics between what, uh, how they operated and how the enemy operated. You know, a lot of us spend hours playing virtual soldier, whether uh, it be on the PC or the PlayStation 4, or Xbox 360, whether it be on Battlefield 4 or Call of Duty or Rainbow Six Siege. Um, you know, we kind of pretend to be guys like Kevin Laz. We pretend to be guys like Chris Kyle. So whenever you get a chance to read a book or read about their experiences, um, I think it's kind of worthwhile and important that people do this, uh, you know, just to kind of get a perspective of what it's like to do those things in real life and also to support these guys. I mean, they were out there defending our country. Um, you know, soldiers don't make a whole lot. Uh, they deserve to be paid a lot more in my opinion. So, Whenever they have a chance to write a book and it gets published and 
make a little extra money for their family based on their experiences. You know, I like to support that and, um, you know, I highly encourage anyone out there who's interested, you know, in first person shooters or military or war in general. Um, you know, you're not going to go wrong with this book or American Sniper. Um, again, highly recommend that you pick it up. Anyways, guys, I'm obviously not a book critic, but if you're looking for a good way to kill a little time, I highly recommend picking up The Last Punisher by Kevin Laz. Um, you know, it's just a great story. And, you know, uh, if you're watching this and you are a serviceman or a former serviceman or woman, uh, I'd just like to extend my deepest thanks for your service and uh, wish you all the best. Anyways, guys, this is FSU Bones wishing you happy gaming. I'll see you next time. Bye.